Well, hey, it's Rob. Good morning. It's uh, someday in January, the 23rd, actually. 2023 already. Can you believe it? I'm not sure why I never did a tutorial of this song before I have played it. I don't know, hundreds of times. And honestly, I mean, you can't write a better song than America by Paul Simon, Simon and Garfunkel. It's just not possible. This really is the pinnacle of 20th century songwriting. It just evokes all these images. It takes you on a trip. You feel like you're on the bus there with Paul and Kathy. Of course, we're all fascinated with Kathy. Uh, she's a real person, Kathy Chitty. And uh, Paul dated her for a while. She's English. She came over to the States. They had this bus ride. She decided ultimately she did not want to be part of Paul's world. She was a quiet person. She lives, you know, like a reclusive life for decades now. But we're all fascinated with Paul and Kathy and their budding young romance. All that goes into this stuff. So uh, anyway, this is America, written by Paul Simon, of course. Um, it mentions Saginaw, where my ex-wife is from. So I've got a connection to it. But I love playing this song. I do these tutorials and I just show you basically a simple way to accompany yourself singing on acoustic guitar and uh, kind of a lazy way to play. And I've kind of found these techniques over the years to simplify these things and to get through these songs like America. <laughs> Let us be lovers, we'll marry our fortune together I've got some real estate here in my bag What's he mean? Uh, I don't know, real estate, you know, it's in his pocket Anyway, so uh, let's get through this I am working with a finger injury today from a dog bite Not fun, so I may be a little sloppier than usual, but I at least should be able to explain to you how to play this song, and let's get started. So it's got this descending pattern. Uh, oh, got a notification. It's got this descending pattern. The song is in D. I've got a capo here on the second fret, and I'm playing the C chord, which of course is a D when you put a capo on the second fret. And you're just kind of descending down from C down to uh, the F chord. I'm going to call the chords their shapes and not the actual notes. We are in fact playing a D, but I'm going to call this a C because you may want to play it here or here or wherever your voice naturally fits. I do pretty well on the second fret, so this works for me and the actual key on the record. And uh, you're going to just uh, find your own kind of way to pick these things. I'm not going to teach you like picking patterns or up downs or whatever, just things that sound good to you in your own natural way. Of course, you can just strum. Or you can pick. And I'm doing that by just lifting up the, uh, what would be the note on the D string. And hammering that down. It's just a typical thing you hear in a folk song. And I'm doing the same thing here on the fifth string note. Walking down from that C down to that F. I am playing the F in a crazy way with my thumb here. It's just gotten comfortable for me to do. And uh, in this pattern, you're also kind of throwing in a little hint. You're throwing a little hint of the four chord there, which would be a B flat, <clears throat> if we were in open tuning. Well, let's get into actually how you do this. And I should stop talking and just show you. So we'll just do strumming, but again, you can pick your own way and add your own little flourishes along the way. But uh, just for uh, the sake of simplicity, I'll just show you how to do it strumming. So we're gonna strum a C. I'm gonna lift up my third finger and put my second finger down on what would be the B in open tuning. So just the fret below. So you get this kind of hybrid chord, which would be a B here and your C here. Again, these would all be the notes in open. I'm not gonna try to transpose them. So uh, you've got this, uh, your third finger here. You move your second finger here, down one fret on the fifth string. 
You're not playing the E. That would sound terrible. So you're playing from the fifth string and going up to the higher strings. And again, I'm hammering that on. You can do that or just play straight. So again, this chord is suggesting the B, B tonality. Here's your B and then you're keeping, sorry, you're keeping your C note there fingered from your C chord. And then find yourself an A minor here. When you get to your A minor, to go down to the F, I'm just putting my pinky on the, sorry, <laughs> this would be the G. So you got your A minor, your uh, pinky is gonna suggest the G note, so I don't even need to change the chord or play the G chord. I'm just gonna have the A minor, and I'm just gonna hit the G and suggest that G chord. You could, of course, switch to G. You could do. play the full G, or like I said, I just do it kind of the lazy way by keeping my finger on the A minor and hitting what would be the G note with my pinky. And then I'm playing this F shaped bar chord, but with my thumb here. And I put my thumb here because it's much easier to do that. I also hammer on there. Hammer on that note if you want, it'll be nice. And you are making the F bar shape chord here with your third finger, your fourth finger here, both on what would be the third fret, your second finger on what would be the second fret, and again, what would be the C note in the open chord. It's just your F shape. Your, your E shape, I should say, bar chord. But you're also suggesting the A shape bar chord. And how are you doing that? Well, it's easy if you have your thumb here and you're playing the bar and you just flatten out your pinky and your third finger like this. So you got your F shape bar. And you're suggesting that B flat or the A shaped bar chord. I know I'm getting confusing with a lot of these. Uh, different <laughs> mentions of, of uh, chords that are actually in other keys and whatever. Anyway, so we've been rambling on for a while here and it's gonna take us a while to get through this apparently at this pace, but uh, that's just where I'm at today. I'm in a mellow mood. So once again, your walk down pattern is and you can do the hammer-ons or not. Pinky down, your E-shaped bar chord, which, you know, it's like you're making an F chord here, and then flatten, Oops. and uh, you're going to get to the verse that way, uh, whatever the verse happens to be, uh, toss me a cigarette, I think there's one in my raincoat happens once and then uh, we're gonna go through uh, half of that pattern and we're gonna hold on the A minor and then we're gonna get into the uh, B section or whatever you want to call it uh, that's an E minor chord with the capo of course it's an F sharp minor but E minor shape chord you're gonna add what would be the D note here with your pinky on the second string? The seventh degree of the scale, so you're making an E minor seventh. And it resolves really nice to A7. This kind of A7 here, where you're just playing it with your second finger on what would be the E note, and your third finger on what would be the C sharp, so it really resolves down nicely from. that twice. So I bought a pack of cigarettes, Mrs. Wagner pies, and then the next uh, chord sequence there is D, and then walk G. Is it G? Walk, don't. Nope, it's a C, sorry. 
I'm doing this from memory. Uh, so D, C, G, and then walk up. And then back to your walk down. So what happened there? We got, um, so we bought a pack of cigarettes, A7, E minor 7, and Mrs. Wagner Pies, and we're going to D, C, and then we're going to walk up from the G. So you're really just playing the notes. You're playing the, you're, you know, fingering your G chord, and then you're just walking up A, B, C. back to your C. Now you can also play it with this kind of a C chord, a C chord that looks like the G chord. Of course you're just moving down one string and you can do you're just outlining the same notes C, B, A, G and the whole time you're leaving this down as an anchor your D and your G on the high strings. doesn't sound as good as the full chords but uh basically that's what's going on in that section so you got a uh d c g a b c b a g f and then it repeats again uh get the s as we boarded the greyhound in pittsburgh second verse michigan seems like a dream to me now Hold on, A minor. Now it changes to G. It took me four days to hit hike from second of chorus. Uh, D, G, D, and then it's C major. C major is your normal C, but you're leaving your first finger off. And you only, I think, hear this once before it goes to the bridge. Uh, so we go down to the G. It took me four days to hit hike from second. D-G, live for America. So once again, ring out those notes. Don't play the low E. Play that C, but lift your finger up off the first uh, pinky. Your, not, not your pinky. Your first finger here. Lift it up. So you're not hearing that C note. You're hearing a B. And you get that nice C major sound. And from there, we go to the bridge, which is... B flat major. What is B flat major? Well, it's like your A shaped bar chord, but you're going to flat the note on the third string. So you've got your first finger here, first fret, third finger here, right here on the D string, your second finger, which would be the A in the open string, second finger here on the second fret, and your pinky here is going on the third fret again. So that's your shape here. Just find the notes if you can't figure that out. And that is your uh, B flat major seven chord. Laughing on the bus and then back to C. Playing games with the faces. I like to pick the bass notes, the fifths. So if I do this, I like to pick that. What would be the F? You don't have to. It's just something to do. Keep you busy. I'm just picking those fifth uh, bass notes back and forth. She said the man in the gabardine suit was a spy. Same thing here. Now we go to F major seven. It's hard to do with the capo there. You really got to jam your fingers in there. F major seven is just an A minor that you play with your third pinky and second finger. And so, so you leave your first finger available to pick the low F note. And that's your F major seven. So you have uh, B flat major seven, C, and then it switches to the F major seven. I said, be careful, this bow tie is really a... Now you do your walk down. Camera. And in the middle of this walk down, I hear this, and I'm not sure if it's exactly right. I hear that chord in there, which is a D. But I also picked the F sharp with my thumb on the sixth string. 
a great transitional chord, so you get... Toss me a cigarette, I think there's one in my raincoat. You smoke the last one and now. When you get to this A minor, you can also pick the low notes there. Power go A E. And now we're back to our uh, E minor 7. So I looked at the scenery, A7. Read in magazines, and for whatever reason, I feel like. This is the best line that's ever been written in any pop song. I don't know. And other people have mentioned this line, too. And it's just so descriptive and beautiful. And uh, I'll just sing it through here. And I'm talking about the line about the moon here. So I looked at the scenery. She read her magazine. And the moon rose over. So uh, once again, you've got the uh, E minor, the A minor, and the D. D, C, G chord, and then walk up, A, B, C, A, G, F, and then throw that B flat in there. Kathy, I'm lost, I said, though I knew she was sleeping. Aching and I hang the A minor. I don't know why. Now you go to another New G. Counting the cars on the New Jersey Turnpike. They D G E for America. All come for America. Don't forget C major seven. All come to look for a. Now we walk down. And then at the end, it does a little. So it goes to D minor. And then you're going to walk down. You're going to make a C chord. And then you're going to finger the B there while you're holding the rest of your C chord down. And of course, the C chord I'm talking about is second finger on the C note. First finger on the E note of the fourth string. And then you're going to hold down the third fret with your third and fourth finger on the top two strings. So you play. And I think it goes, it doesn't go to the F, so it goes C, B, A, G, D minor, C, B. And uh, that's kind of where the song fades out from there. I'm not really uh, sure how we got to 20 minutes just talking about this song, but it is such a great song. So those are some ways to get through the song. Again, there are different ways to play it, different ways that I play it. You might find a way that is better for you or a key that is better for you or whatever, but this is officially the key that the song is in on the record. And uh, I butchered it pretty bad today, but I'm blaming this on my finger. Anyway, I've done it better other times, and some days you will do it better than other days as well. Anyway, that's how you get through America by Paul Simon. Simon and Garfunkel, just a beautiful song. All right, enjoy your Monday. Bye.